Welcome back to Optimize Health, where we're making easy, healthy, and delicious meals. Today, we're doing an information video on a very popular supplement, but we may not all know about these excellent additional benefits that are not uh, typical. So, we're going to talk about creatine, and it's not just a bodybuilder supplement. It's helpful for uh, diseases of aging and preventing them, as well as a, a lot of benefits potentially for women. So, that's why I wanted to talk about it. You should talk to your doctor, healthcare provider, or veterinarian to see if any of these recipes, suggestions, or contents of these videos are right for you. Nothing contained in these videos are intended to be taken as medical advice. Use at your own risk. For everybody, creatine can be helpful with improving memory and cognition and decreasing symptoms of neurodegenerative disease and decline, including reducing the dopamine um, drop that is seen with uh, Parkinson's disease, which is pretty fascinating. And another mental benefit is that studies have shown an inverse relationship with creatine intake and depression symptoms. Uh, one other additional benefit sort of along those lines kind of crosses between brain and, and body health, but uh, creatine can reduce fatigue even in situations that are induced by like short-term sleep deprivation. For example, when I'm on call or something like this and I'm working um, called in, in in the middle of the night. So um, it can be helpful to reduce the symptoms of sleep deprivation and, and fatigue that, that you can see in those instances. So everybody already knows about the muscle growth um, that creatine can help support. Typically, people who do respond to creatine muscle growth can see up to 30% increase in that muscle growth. About 20% of people may not respond to muscle growth benefits of creatine, but they still get all these other benefits. So it's not a reason not to use it if you're not seeing those um, muscle growth um, effects. For women specifically, in addition to the other energy, metabolism, and brain, body, and, and muscle benefits we already talked about, there's also bone health that's consideration, helping to work with our bodies to build bone and prevent bone loss, which is always important um, for, for women at any age. I think it's, it's good to be on top of that. And also, um, just as we get older, I think more and more women are, are aware of it. And um, I don't think it's too late to start trying to do something about it if you're not in your 20s and 30s already trying to maximize your hormones and your bone density by doing weight training and doing resistance training as well as weight bearing or like um, aerobic activity that has like impact can, can help build the bones as well. So for women, interestingly, it may be even more beneficial to take creatine because we naturally may only have like 10% of the intracellular creatine that men do. So by boosting our intake, that can help to um, get additional benefits that otherwise naturally would be harder to obtain. Typically, I, I did want to mention <clears throat> Supplementation with creatine, it'd be good to look it up or maybe, you know, let's get in touch on a one-on-one -on -one basis so I can see what your specific needs are and your body composition. Uh, but typically, in general, people are, are safe kind of using this over-the-counter instructions, which may recommend about three to five grams per day. And a loading phase to saturate the body can be done over about a course of a week and typically the loading dose for about that one week is 20 grams per day. Another two other benefits for women include using this during the ovulation cycle of, uh, in cycling women, of course, it can help to boost the already, you know, aforementioned benefits. And those would be during like the ovulation phase. So days 12 through approximately 20. And then also, it's just an interesting note that creatine does help with the developing placenta in pregnant ladies. So that may be something to look into and see if that may help um, if, you know, it's something you can use during pregnancy. So I'm hoping that this information is going to help you guys. And we'd love it if you would suggest additional topics that we can go over, uh, pose any comments or questions that you have about this or any other topics. And just check us out on Linktree. We have a website and I do consulting and um, we'd like to see you there. Thanks.